Welcome to Card Corner. These are the cards. That's the corner. Today we're joined by Death himself, and we're going to open these. The Adventures of Batman and Robin. So I didn't really watch this cartoon too much as a kid, maybe a little bit, but I still think it would be cool. Um, the Joker was played by Mark Hamill, so we can get a cool Luke Skywalker card in here. I think Catwoman was also played by uh, Adrian Barbeau in this series. Uh, she was a famous uh, horror actor. So let's see who we get. I got six packs today because they're kind of smaller. They've only got four cards and a coloring card. So we're going to open up a bunch of them. All right, so this is our coloring card. And it looks like it's Two-Face. Yep, that's the coloring card. All right, we got the Penguin. Oh, a little sticky in these ones. Not too bad, though. Villains, the Penguin. My dear rodent, I'd never kidnap a fellow rogue out of a sick bed. It just isn't done. Oswald, Oswald Chesterfield Cobblepot is one of Batman's strangest enemies. Dressed in a top hat and tuxedo, the penguin strikes a bizarre dapper figure. Despite his odd appearance, the penguin is a criminal genius and a, as dangerous as they come. It's cool. Not Danny DeVito here, but the penguin's still pretty cool. And we have Batman and Robin themselves. The detective duo. Together, Batman and Robin are the perfect team of investigators. When Batman has his hands full of digging up information on the villain known as Lockup, he knows he can rely on Robin to uncover important information on his own. I don't know who Lockup is. Here's another one of Robin. The uh, images on these ones aren't very good. Kind of blurry. Case number 572, Harlequinade. As Harley Quinn distracts the gangsters, Robin slips into the abandoned hideout and frees Batman. The duo starts to sneak out of the building, but they are spotted, and together with Harley, Batman, and Robin take on the gangsters. So Harley Quinn's a good guy in this one, I guess. Man, it's really low resolution on the pictures. More from uh, Harlequinade. Alright, that was the first pack. Let's open another one. Yeah, by far, the coloring card is the best one out of that pack. All right, more Batman and Robin tension in the air. Here's Batman with this cape flying around. Batman fighting the Joker. I'd be a lot more impressed with this if the printing was better. Batman getting shoved. After changing into her Harlequin costume, Harley leads Batman to one of the Joker's old hideouts which is crawling with gangsters. Harley suddenly smashes the club over Batman's head, knocking him out. The Dark Knight comes to on a pool table, tied up and unable to move. And our coloring card is Two-Face once again. All right, and it's a good time to mention, uh, if you want to trade for any of these cards, especially this double Two-Face card that I got, um, the information for that is on the About page on the YouTube channel. It would be really cool if we were able to work out a trade. All right, so we got K-1, 
Catwoman. I think that's my favorite one so far. Like I said, I think she's played by Adrienne Barbeau in the series. I also like that it's vertical instead of horizontal like the Two-Face one. Got some toxic fumes. I think that's uh, Ra's al Ghul there. Old doll. Robin's pulling a Kathy Griffin. Like his mentor, Robin, mas Ro like his mentor, Robin is a master of disguise. When he and Batman go up against an insane TV star called Baby Doll, Robin goes undercover as her former co-star. Baby Doll leads him and Batman to her hideout, where Robin faces off with Baby Doll's henchwoman, one of the uh, bad guys you don't see in any of the movies, Baby Doll. I really love this Harlequinade case. Robo guy. Oh, that's lock up. You're resourceful, Dark Knight, but sooner or later, you're mine. All right, that's three. Three down, three to go. I have to say I'm not really too impressed with the art. There's the Toxic Fumes one again. Oh, the Baby Doll one again. Looks like this is a repeat pack. Except this one, we've got the Joker. Nice. I got a bunch more packs of this too, so if you want to trade for just this, the packs wholesale, that's cool too. I think that's supposed to be Alfred. No, it's the Clock King. I intend to pass a most timely judgment on the entire Gotham City judicial system. Temple Fugate alias Clock King is out for revenge against Mayor Hill and all of Gotham City with the help of an incredible time-altering device. F Fug Fugate, Fugate, I don't know has been able to stray one step ahead of the law. It's another villain I've never heard of, but Clock King, that's kind of cool. He's got clocks in his glasses. And Batman with the Batarang. Although Batman is a master of unarmed combat, he carries an arsenal of weapons and gadgets to help him in battle. Among these are his batarang, grappling hook, and a variety of chemicals stored in his utility belt. I like the back of that one, but I don't like the art. I think that's Alfred. Yeah, an allies card, Alfred Pennyworth. Nice to see you haven't lost your sense of humor in the face of adversity, sir. Alfred Pennyworth is much more than just a butler. Over the years, he has provided everything from advice on Bruce Wayne's love life to clues in Batman's most important cases, and he's never at a loss for a sarcastic comment about Bruce's heroic alter ego. Hurrah, though. All right, Batman looking at some tree roots. And another Joker. All right. This one is Hunter. When the Dark Knight is on the hunt, no criminal can hope to escape. Batman is equally skilled at following a trail through Gotham City's urban sprawl or a primeval forest. And whether it takes minutes or hours, sooner or later, Batman always traps his quarry. All right, last pack. We 
got this guy, dumb looking guy. Oh, he's an ally, Harvey Bullock. Let's get something straight from the get-go. I think you're a freak and a menace, and those are your good points, but the Comish says you serve a purpose, so I go along. Hard to read there with that white on white. He may look like he's a slob, but he's actually Gotham City's toughest cop and one who refuses to play by anyone's rules, although he and I mean, a cop should play by someone's rules, right? Although he and Batman are on the same side of the law, Harvey can't trust a face that he can't see. All right, this uh, Robin Punchin. An able ally. All right. I think that's this one's probably the best... Um, non-coloring card two-faced flipping his coin i couldn't let that wimp dent destroy me i had to teach the little man some respect when a vat of acid exploded in the face of district attorney harvey dent two-face was created two-face's entire existence is now ruled by the number two his every decision is made with the flip of a coin from which tie to where to whether to go on a crime spree Nice. All right, looks like uh, we got Bruce Wayne turning into Batman. Master of Disguise. When stealth is called for, Batman is second to none. He's a master of disguise, using theatrical makeup and techniques to blend into any crowd or situation. And he can switch back into his, dis his guise as Batman in a flash. That's not a bad one either. And our last card is the Riddler coloring card. All right. This was Batman and Robin. I think that uh, the set cards are kind of, unfortunately, they leave a little bit to be desired. It's too bad they're all just kind of um, screenshots from the TV show. They could have done a little bit more with that. I like that the coloring cards have their own purposefully made artwork and gotta love that two-faced coin flip. Anyway, this is Card Corner. Take it easy.